Welcome back. We are slowly making our way through the first island here. Yeah, if you're expecting me to rush through this game, you are on the wrong channel, my friend. Um, anyway, we uh, just explored the other door out there, and we definitely didn't cause a bridge to collapse or anything. No, sir. It was like that when I found it. So, now we're checking out this path. Oh, that seems like it leads to the... Uh, ...bridge that we could see from the ledge up there where we started. I'm now wondering, if I had dropped down here, uh, it doesn't look like I would be able to climb back up, would I have been trapped? Didn't see any way to open that... Uh, fence from this side. Don't know. Looks like uh, the starfisher ends here. It's been blocked off from the side as well. Hey! It's a chair with a cage over it. If you're familiar with the original, you might have been wondering uh, where that was, since it wasn't in its usual place. These do look like the things that surround the domes, so they do appear to be lights. More writing on this chair. Yep, door shut behind me. Uh, it looks like we have some cameras set up here. This one provides a view of the bridge leading towards the temple by the looks of it. This is the inside of the temple and a place we have not yet seen. Uh, can we sit in the chair? We can. Cage closes back up. Looks like a microphone. Don't really know what that's for. That raises a bridge. Okay. entirely sure what the point of that is, but uh, it does. It is what it does. Let's see what this uh, switch does. Hey, it opens that door in the temple. And I guess that's the outside of the temple. Interesting. Guess we should go check out our handiwork. I think this path is wide enough that I probably would be okay walking on it. In reality. All right, let's make our way back. See if we can get to the temple. Although actually, I also kind of want to see if we can do something over here with the rotating dome, now that we know the symbol from the window there. Um, to get back to the dome, we have to rotate the room again, though, which is kind of... Oh. Right. Does this serve any purpose? I can't get up on it or anything. I've just prevented myself from going there. 
and presumably prevented anyone from the other side, who were in the temple, from going this way. Which I'm guessing is its purpose. But, uh, for us that's kind of useless. We need that bridge down if we want to go that way. So yeah, I have to go back. Fortunately, it's not too far. But yeah, I really want to check out the dome first. So I'm just doing this first because we will have to rotate the room to get to the dome. And then if we wanted to go back here, we would have to rotate the room again. And I don't really want to have to do that, so let's just lower that first. I guess whatever it is Gen does in here... Make radio broadcasts? I don't know. He doesn't want to be disturbed, so he raises that bridge, maybe. Because we saw at the uh, rotating dome, there's all those symbols on the outside, and we can see them through that little viewer. And we now uh, know that the uh, those symbols are also in the windows, and the window that looks out on the rotating dome has a, it's just a circle with a dot inside. So I'm wondering if something will happen if we hit that button on the viewer when that symbol is visible. I think we only need to rotate the room twice for this. Nope, three times. Again, no way to skip this in this version of the game, which is a little bit uh, annoying. Speaking of skipping things, sorry. You can actually uh, skip the uh, skip ladders and vehicle transitions, not by a button in the game, but you can skip them through the menu, and I just remembered that I didn't turn that back off after some practice running around. And so, we don't want that, obviously. Hasn't affected anything yet. Okay, now we can get to the uh, dome. The ladder transitions, especially, is something you want to have on when you're playing in VR, because climbing the ladders in VR is annoying. And if you have skipped the ladders on, all you have to do is just grab them and you'll be at the top. Which is much easier. Alright, let's take a look here. I tried it. I think I was a little too early there. There we go. Something's happening. Looks like it's stopping the rotation. And the dome opens up. Revealing it to also be gold. Just smaller. They're actually very similar now with the... little groove in the middle. And... If we look through here, you can see a little uh, glass flipped up showing the correct symbol. That was not visible before. Of course, you could have figured out that that was the correct symbol uh, before going inside, because you can actually see it on the outside as well. 
Although, without the context that all the windows show symbols that are on the other side of the dome, not sure if you would make the connection that this is one of those symbols, or rather just the shape of the window. Um, also, compared to the original, they've made it a lot harder to uh, get it accidentally, because in the beginning, if in the original, you could just kind of mash the button until it worked. Whoa! Okay. More tremors. Um, which, yeah, doesn't really work here anymore. Um, although I think in the demo I did actually accidentally hit the right symbol. It's still possible. Of course, in the original, you also um, learn the symbols from the domes because they are indicated on this outside of the domes by being gold-colored rather than the color of the others. Whereas here you have to learn them from the inside of the big dome. Um, let's see, though. We have, um, hmm, not what we would be expecting if we had played the original. It just shows the same symbol again. Oh, and... Okay. Dome's closing again. Hopefully I can open it from the inside. Don't want to be trapped here. is happening. Um, what? What? I'm sorry, but... What? Yeah. If you thought the bridge collapsing was a surprise for players of the original, <laughs> this blew my mind. Seems we are somehow inside the Starfisher. This area is referred to in various materials as the Starry Expanse. A reference to the original fan project to remake Ribbon. And yes, I was not expecting this to be a thing. So these domes provide access to the inside of the Starfisher somehow. And I guess they're kind of like airlocks? That is bizarre. See a bunch of other domes at weird angles. So I don't know how gravity works here, but uh, not the usual way. I can see one, two, three, four and five of them, counting this one. I guess that means there must be other domes in the physical part of Riven as well. Let's see what do we have here. That's the same symbol again. Bunch of those symbols again on the side here, and whatever this is, is set to the circle dot symbol. That is not something we can move, but it seems to be fixed in place there. Bunch of balls over here. And a lever. Which we can turn, causing one of the balls to drop down. Now it's floating inside the tube here. Now it turns that way. Don't know what that's supposed to do, but it sounds like it's not doing it. 
all right wait is this the same pipe that connects back to the big gold dome in the real world looks like it could be there's a thing in the middle here too which uh It's currently connected to that dome over there. And we have a button and a wheel here. Oh, looks like the button turns in the middle bit. It's like a lighthouse-like thing. Now it's facing the right way, but we still can't go there. But this extends the um, bridge, so now we can also turn these two lights on. And see that like those lights are not on. Neither are those. Neither are those. But the ones down below here, which is where this was facing, I can't really get a good view of it. You can kind of see it through the floor. Those are, oh, they're blinking now. They were on. Looks like this platform is attached to and spinning around this ball. One thing I'm curious about, should we be able to... S what the hell is that? I don't know. Um, let's not... let's try not to touch it. Should we be able to see the actual... like the actual fissure? That's covered somewhere in here. Doesn't look like we can. What's this? Smaller ball. And it shows the... symbol, round and a dot, with two lit lights. And there's a control here. See what happens. Oh, we can turn the entire world. Or actually, we're turning ourselves, but you know, relativity. Doesn't really matter which way we're going. Yeah, we can go all the way around. Can we go to a different symbol? Because there's a bunch of them on here. See what this does. Oh, that spins it the other way. You don't have to be precise, it will snap to uh, Is that noise coming from that thing? It is for getting further away now, so maybe? I don't know. Um. Let's see, try to line up with that one. Um, okay, we lined it up, but it looks like this bridge is not extended either. So in order to go there, we have to get there from the other side first. That's annoying. Hmm. Wait, now... Now our original symbol is blinking. Can we find where it is? Possibly? Maybe? Is that it? No. 
that's not it. Because that was the first one we saw that was blinking. Because we didn't have a ladder. Oh, it's down there. That's where we came from. It's blinking now too. As are the lights on here. So I'm guessing blinking means extended but not connected. Off means not extended and solid means extended and connected. Well, we've seen there's another one that's blinking and it was in fact connected while we were uh, when we came in here. So let's see if we can find that on this ball. It's not that one. Um, I don't see it, which I guess means we have to be on the uh, other side of the ball. Oh, there it is. Okay. Guess it'll be easiest to go over here. And turn that. And there we go. Um, uh, wait. I think I connected this upside down. Is that a problem? I can get to the dome. Doesn't do anything, but I can get there. Okay, I guess uh, we need this to be right way up. Good to know. What is this weird lighthouse looking thing? It's like a telescope on the end. That or a Dalek eye. Alright, let's... Uh, oh wait, no. Need to turn this way. Let's put the world right side up. There we go. Do not ask me how gravity works here. I have no idea. Apparently down is just always towards the platform. Regardless of which way it's facing. Either that or this platform actually controls the way gravity is pointing. Which... Who knows? I um, guess we can retract the bridge, but... That seems pointless. And this is the same button as we had on the other platform to call it. We don't need to do that, it's already facing this way. Can it send it away? No. Um, what do we have here? There's the dome, obviously, and it looks like there's another one of those devices. Let's see if this one does something. Different symbol. Same idea, though. Let's see. Drops a ball into it. Hovers it in there. Turns it towards the middle. And then the button did nothing. Oh. Some kind of beam from the big lighthouse thing came here, and um, then the tube with the um, ball in it got sucked down this pipe, kind of like a pneumatic tube system. So does that mean it went to the big golden dome? It's possible. 
down. Can't go further up. Let's go back down. Well, let's check out where this dome goes, I guess. Yep, that's the same symbol again. Should probably try to remember this one. Feeling that might be important. And we're somewhere else. Dome shuts and starts spinning. Hey! Oh look, yeah, that's a that has to be the pipe from the uh, inside of the starry expanse. It heads across the sea back to. The island we came from, with the big golden dome on it, we can also see the island with the trees from here. Actually get a better view of that structure that's on there than we did before. And it looks like there were once tracks going this way. That might be the same broken pillars that we saw on the other side. But that is long since gone. Hmm, I noticed even with the other rotating dome that the thing it's sitting on is made of the same material with the same symbols that is covering the starfisher so is that suggesting the starfisher is just kind of in here or like some opening into it and that's what the the dome provides access to that seems weird but it does seem to make sense All right, let's see. This is a giant tree, or used to be a giant tree. Now it's just a giant tree stump and somebody put a building on top of it. As you may know, this area in the original. Not accessible till way later in the game. <laughs> uh, this is a dead end. Well, we can make all kinds of noise, but doesn't actually seem to do anything. Kind of pointless. Guess we need some more information for that. It doesn't look like there's anything else we can really do here except go up here. Where there is another Imager. Hmm. Told you it would be a good idea to remember what symbol belonged to this dome, which was actually the uh, like vertical ellipse with a dot in the center. Well, let's actually check our notebook. Uh, that would be this one. 
which doesn't really obviously look out at anything. But I, I think it is the one that the pipe came out of that then went off to the side towards something we couldn't see past the fog, so I guess that must have been this island. So, this one is for the big tree island. We can make note of that and remember it. See if we can open the dome back up that way. Got it in one go. If you're having issues with this, it's better to be a slightly late than it is to be slightly early. If you hit it before the uh, symbol actually shows up, it won't work. But if you do it slightly after, it will still it will work. Okay, that did open the dome back up, so that's good. So I guess uh, nothing else we can do other than go back. Now those of you who've played this version of the game, I can see you writing comments already. It's on purpose. That's all I'll say. Okay, let's head back to where we came from. Didn't look like any of the other domes were accessible. They all had their uh, lights turned off and therefore bridges not extended. This is totally not a loading screen or anything. So the only place we can go is back. And then see what we can do from there. Alrighty. Alright, that's the island we came from with the temple. That is the right way up as well. Oh, and wait, now that we've turned the central platform this way, maybe this will work now, because it's facing the lighthouse, for lack of a better word. Yes! And it zooms off through the tube. There's four more balls. Can we do this again? No. All the controls are locked. Presumably the container needs to be returned here before this will turn again. But I guess whatever it is we're doing, we can do it four more times if we need to. Spin the dome back up. Or, no, actually, slow it down. Because it has to open on this side. Taking a while. We're back. Yeah, see that that over there is the uh, the pipe from the window with the other symbol we saw, and it goes down and then continues 
all the way over there, where sometimes just through the fog you can kind of catch glimpses of the structure on top of the big tree stump. So yeah, that's definitely over that way. And then did that ball just go all the way through the pipe to come here? That's kind of uh, interesting. Did that accomplish anything on the inside? Have to rotate the room again to get there. Only twice this time though. In the uh, demo of Riven that was released shortly before the actual release, you can open the rotating dome, but it won't let you walk into it. It will just say, hey, this area is not available in the demo. And I never really knew why. Because it's like, in the original, you can't do anything with it. They're locked. You need to find a combination. But, yeah, after experiencing that, now we know why uh, the demo didn't want you to walk in there. Anything happened here? Not really. Oh, hey, these do have the symbols on them. Oh, hey, this one doesn't. Okay, that, I guess that indicates that we have the balls from those domes. From this one, and then yeah, this one, the pipe comes out here, so it, it's in there, I suppose. Oh, hey, this is different too. Two of the five, I guess they are lights, around the button are now lit. Button still doesn't do anything. Linking book still broken. Hmm. Well, I guess we need to come back here when we have all five. But the only way to get there would be from the other side, through the domes. That are presumably somewhere else in Riven. As we could not reach them. Because somebody was rude and closed all the bridges. We have to go the long way around. Um, let's go down here. Of course, somewhere on the side here is where originally that room with the... the caged chair was. Speaking of the cage chair, it does look very similar to the cage that's over the the soup bowl here. Are they related? Possibly. And the door is open now. Hey, that's another one of those devices. Same we saw above the starting point there. Camera, maybe? This is the w where you look on the screen in the in the chair. That means there should be a camera on the inside here too somewhere. And there is! There is. Wait, then where's the... Just gonna quickly run back. Where's the camera for the... for here? We get a view of this from... Ah, oh, there it is. Hadn't actually seen that before. However, we didn't get a view from that camera 
if indeed it is one, um, looking at the Lincoln spot, so the screen for that one must be elsewhere. Alright, um, I'm guessing despite these animals here, this is also about worshipping Gen. That's his symbol on the back there, and all over the place really. As well as uh, the door depicting Gen being worshipped. So yeah, not very subtle. Anyway, this is where the vehicle left from in the beginning that we could see. Here's some kind of electrical hum. There's a button here. Very similar to the ones that turned the uh, central platform towards us in the starry expanse. What does this one do? Looks like it calls over the vehicle. <laughs> I like the landing lights. That's really cool. Is that? That was hovering above the lines before those clamps came down, wasn't it? Some kind of magnetic levitation? Seems like it. Man, through an actual person, human, from 1807, this would just be magic, wouldn't it? Um, I guess that's a way to... to uh, go between islands. We've seen a few other tracks, including a broken one that used to go to the Big Tree Island. Sounds like the door's shutting. I would try to look at it, but if I get up, it will just open. Um, there's controls here. That doesn't do anything. That turns it around. If you get up, the door opens can actually get out on this side. Something which the original game did not let you do. Doesn't really serve any purpose by the looks of it, but... It is possible now. So these tracks are gonna go to the island with the trees on it. Interesting. When I first played the game, um... The game kind of glitched. The person in the maglev car didn't leave, as I knew he was supposed to from the demo. Then when I got here, the car was already here, but it was facing this direction with the stairs open, so I couldn't get in it from that side. And then when I pushed the call button, it turned around and then went to <laughs> the went to that island backwards. So, yeah, fortunately when I pushed the button again, that fixed itself. But that was kind of funny. I guess we'll try taking a right to another island in the next video.